nastiness as well. I'm just going to use 10 degrees of flaps for our takeoff, which is going to make it slightly longer than you, but less drag. Woo! That was a gust. But where we're landing, the wind is straight down the runway, which is great. And it's a massive long runway. So I'm probably going to do a flapless landing because that reduces the effect of gusts. I think it's got a two kilometer long runway, mile and a half runway. Right, there's an aircraft right on our nose, a few miles away, only 600 feet above us, on here. See that? Yeah. Right up, we feel one. Thing well, not that whole on the roof. E956 November, climb flight level 100. Climb flight level 100, E956 November. So I'm just waiting for them, hoping you're about to get a clearance. We've only got a couple of minutes till we're going to be in their airspace. So we have a decision to make. Either we fly around around in circles waiting for it to let us through, no. or, or we have to route to the east of Bristol outside control airspace. Wait, did November 2000, was that for me? Hey fam, are you able to accept a climb to altitude 5,000 feet for your transit? We're using runway 09, you will be conflicted with IFR inbound arrivals. Hey fam, I can do 5,000 feet. November 2000. Um, two zero zero is clear to crosswinds from airspace VFR, routing Clevedon, VFR, altitude 5,000 feet. To maintain the altitude report if you need to change your level at any time. Cleared VFR 5,000 feet by Clevedon report if I need to change the number 200. Zero zero. That's correct. This is OEC 610. Cool, we are cleared. One, two zero. Just passing Pearl Max from the left end towards the BRI 320. With I've got to climb to 5,000 feet before the airspace. Bristol Channel's a muddy old channel, isn't it? It is. Look at that big sandbank in the middle of it. Yeah, it's, got, it. it's got an 11 metre tidal range. Wow. Has it really? Yeah, it's the second highest in the world. I had no idea of that. Yeah, it's extraordinary. I kept a boat in Cardiff Bay for a few years with a mate of mine that now lives in New Zealand. Yeah, mudbank. 6629, turn right and heading it's, it's 0, zero five. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, it's absolutely We're now heading into the 46 knot headwind. So we've got a ground speed of 89 knots. Juliet, November, regress rejoin for that cheddar. Ground speed of 90 knots and an airspeed of 125 knots. This is great, Charlie. Well done. Thank That's you. great to have you here. This is uh, absolutely terrific. Thoroughly enjoying it. I was a bit nervous to start with. I always get a bit uppy and downy. Well, that was a that was a that was a rough takeoff. On, you know, once we're in the air. <coughs> We are 11 miles out. Yeah, I can see it. It's that big pale green area with all the buildings on it. About 11.30 o'clock. See it? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah. I went, I went on many different British Airways 747 going to Australia and Pakistan and America and back. I don't know how many they have, but I, I reckon I must have been on most of them or something, right? Um, but that was my favourite movie. Because that's the 80s, that's the 1980s.
season P is good. Let's be live and increasing. 50 knots and... Number 20 Sierra departing from the downwind leg to the southwest. Thank you very much for your help. Bye-bye. Number two, zero Sierra, it's good to see you. It's the basic service. If you're staying with me, the Cotswold 1027, report changing. What is that 1027 for basic service is staying with you, 20 Sierra, report changing. It never gets dull with you from up here. No, yeah, it's amazing. We're going right over the top of Wadswick, where we, where we flew into yesterday. Yeah. In about two minutes. Now, when we get back to Dunk as well, so the wind strength has increased. This morning. Section four three and depending on its, a, it's actual direction when we get there, um, we're probably going to have quite a stiff crosswind landing. Um, if it's too far, there are, we've then got two backup plans. Number one is there's actually a taxiway we can land on. I don't like it. But if it's that straight into wind and it's really strong wind, then that's the safest option. Right. Um, uh, otherwise, there's a farm airstrip not far away that we can land into it without, um, but be stranded without a car. Sadly, forgot to turn that GoPro on. <coughs> For the way that these two are on, but... Uh, that's not. I can go and have a go if you want. <laughs> well, the barn store would have thought nothing of that. Really? You know, I'll stand on the wheel, I'll get, I'll get that, no problem. I think that's what they refer to as the Somerset Levels, isn't it? That flat, very flat, waterlogged looking area there. Yep. And down here, I suppose. Yep. Yeah. All the fields here are very u uniform size. Dunkerswell Radio, November 1320 Sierra. Returning from the northeast, 20 miles out, and requesting uh, runway uh, airfield information, please. November 20 Sierra, good afternoon, runway 17 left hand, QFE 1000. 17 left hand, QFE 1000, and could you give me your current surface wind, please? Wind is approximately 130 at 1820 knots. Roger that, thank you, 20. That's fine, that's no problem. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a crosswind, but it's manageable. Um, Beautiful, <laughs> isn't it? What a beautiful place we live in. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. And another airfield off to the left. Biggie. Yeah, that's um, the one you said about that yesterday. That's uh, okay. a pottery or color. And they, they have a, they got a, this end of it, the forward end of it, you can see an Arlington Raceway. Oh, they yeah. do banger racing there. Right. Haven't yet been there. Brakes off, undercarriage down and fixed. Mixture rich. Fuel on both, cow flaps open, autopilot off, landing light on. T0 Sierra turning final, Robbie 17 to land, full stop. Oh, we go. No, I was all, that was nearly a go around with that. Uh, I thought, mate. Very nearly a go around. But you often get that the wind shear on short final. Yeah. No, but in the end, I was pleased with that. Uh, yeah, well, um, that was really good. Well. You can tell there are no other aircraft flying, which is always the clue that conditions are tricky. 